say go Tan say quick quick Kinoea. Greetings my relatives, Grandmother Kim here. I'm back to talk a bit more about medicine bags. Uh, the last time we got together we talked about um, what they look like and the different materials that they can be made of. And today I want to talk about some of the things that you can you can put into your medicine bag. It's a very personal experience and some people have different teachings and will put a wide variety of items inside. But I'm just I'm gonna show you a few. I'm just gonna show you a few that um, are very common. So I'm just gonna move the camera here so you can see the bags that I have here. And I have um, the leather one that I showed last time and it's suede actually and it's um, been painted. Um, sometimes they're beaded and sometimes they're just plain. Sometimes they're cloth. But whatever they're made out of, there are items that you can put inside of here, some really basic items that are very, very common. So in you know honoring our connection to the earth, a lot of times we will have medicines that come from the earth. And in the Anishinaabe world, we have four sacred medicines that we hold as, as heads or leaders of the medicines. And so it's very, very common to have uh, bits of those uh, inside of your bags. So we have our Sema, our traditional tobacco, and oftentimes people will have a pinch or maybe a, a little a little bundle of tobacco inside. We have Mushkodewushk, our sage, white buffalo sage. Um, very, very common to have that inside of your 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 medicine bag. We also have wingush. This is the sweet grass. Sometimes you'll have it in a little mini braid. Sometimes you might have it loose and, and cut up into little pieces and again wrapped. And then of course we have our grandmother medicine, Gijik, the cedar. So little bits of these, little bits are often, you know, placed inside of the bag and uh, sometimes they're used as a personal smudge on the spot or as forms of protection or honoring and connection to the earth. But whatever is put in there is very private, it's very individual, and it's always up to the, uh, the person who's carrying it. I also oftentimes will carry grandfathers inside of my medicine bag. So this is a little wee tiny fairy stone, kind of looks like a turtle. And I, I like to carry um, things that remind me about my relationships to my clan and my family. So that's your little intro today to medicine bags and the types of things that can be placed inside of them. Some people wear them around their um, necks, some people tie them around their waist, some people have them in their sacred bundles. So however you do it, I hope you enjoy the process and I hope you, you know, approach it in a good way with a good heart and a good mind. Have a great day everybody. Bye bye. Till I see you again. Bye.